Hi guys! So, it's Jessica Nicole Dickerson, aka J and D, and welcome back to another video. You're about to watch a really random vlog that I filmed when I first came back to school, like, beginning of January. It's now February 1st, and I'm just now getting to fixing this vlog, because I was hoping it'd be a reading vlog, but I did very minimal reading content. Um, but I did fix my bookshelves, and I did a little haul, so I hope you like it. I hope it doesn't ruin your day or mess up your soul because it's trash. Okay, that's my only hope. But yeah, thanks for watching, yeah. Why is adulting so hard? <laughs> I'd show you my um progress that's the word progress um of the night so yeah i'm gonna scoot those two just you know let's let's and the, the lady business can go just like bleh. okay so yeah bed sheets washed yay desk is semi-clear it's uh, give or take <laughs> I redid my drawers. They look better than they did before. So that's an improvement. And then I cleared out the medicine cabinet thingy. And then all my art supplies are there. And then I cleared out this section to hopefully put some books in. And there's some trash. And then here are all my new books. I'm going to deal with this tomorrow because I don't want to deal with it tonight. No siree. And then I have the rest of my art stuff up here. And, oh, you can't see it, but there's a black suitcase back there that has some random clothes that I may sell eventually online. Yeah, and my shoes are down there. I'm such a clean person. Oh, I did it. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, so that's the progress for today. So it's not bad. I've gotten rid of a few things, but most things I'm just tucking away. I'm a bad person. But, yeah, I'm going to go, like shower and stuff and i'll talk to you tomorrow because i'm so tired i'm gonna take more nyquil so i feel better not more i haven't taken any nyquil I'm gonna take okay bye hello everybody ignore the awful bun it's there it's present it has a little alfalfa we're ignoring it <laughs> so i kind of felt very gross last night so i kind of stopped but i made a lot of progress so now we're getting into the good stuff so it's the next day friday don't work today and i slept until 12. it was so good that night quill knocked me out it was beautiful and i feel much better and i'm drinking some tea and i'm currently watching the bookmark live show mm -hmm. um but now we're gonna get to the good stuff we're gonna tackle the book shelves um so if you saw yesterday of course you saw you're watching this video hey i have all those books and i, I have zero space on my shelves like look look so my bookshelf this is like i guess the before it's very very full very full and i have to magically put more and then i have my january tbr casually up here i pulled them out so it may be, be easier to organize the bookshelves and then i have these books that are just random and then i have most of these books and i moved some of them because some of this stuff had like art supplies and stuff for my printer so i moved some of that stuff into my closet so now there's more space, so now we're just going to shuffle around books. And I think I'm going to take off all my bookshelves from the wall and try and move my bookshelf. I might get a little bookshelf later on in the semester to put there, but I don't have money right now, so we will see. Hey, hey, hey. still real crazy whoops so i'm gonna now start wiping down the shelves they are all empty and they're super dusty and then all the books you saw me stacking whoa so these aren't even all of them <laughs> so the new ones are over there and then i got some over there and what i'm gonna do is probably try and keep my tbr on my desk and then fit more down there so we will see what happens <laughs> oh and then i quickly wanted to mention 
the one book I'm gonna unhaul from my bookshelf is Wink, Poppy, and Midnight. My mom wants this book, so next time I see her, I'm gonna give it to her. Um, but basically, um, for me right now with all the books that I've read, this one is a two star because even though throughout the book I was intrigued enough to finish it and the writing was interesting and I found the characters to be very eclectic and different, um, the ending was not worth all that. <laughs> like I feel like there was so much hype in the book about what was happening and then the ending was just not, not exciting. I know some people love this book. I did not. I'm gonna give it to my mom because she'll probably want to read it and I want to see her opinion about it. But yeah, I'm gonna unhaul this one book. Woohoo! Okay guys, I wanted to show you my first um, shelf. So this is the top display kind of thing. So I have my Harry Potter books and I took out the first one because I'm going to start reading it. And then I have my Pisces mug and my little bear that my parents gave me for my first college A that I got. Woohoo! My Marvel animation uh, book that my dad had and gave to me. The um, Australian artist child's book, um, Zoom, that I read this year. I have these... <laughs> These characters my mom loves giving me, little fluffies, so I have them up here, my little fluffies. And then I have the Black Comics Returns with my Jurassic World mug that obviously, because I was in Jurassic World, means a lot to me. And then, yep, Harry Potter books. So yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know how stable it is, but yeah, that's one done, like five more to go. Woohoo! Okay, I finished my second shelf, and of course, my queen is in the front, but I'll scoot her aside so that way you guys can see the rest, because I know she's blinding. Ha ha ha. Okay, so I have all my kind of big books. Um, some of them I haven't read, like The Truth Witch. I probably should switch those, right? Nah, I'll leave them. I don't care. This is the first one, I think, and this is the second one, but what, what's wrong with it? So I have, of course, Red Queen, and then I have The Fates Divide and Mark, Carve the Mark. This is a great duology. Read it if you haven't. And then I have these two. I haven't read this one, but I've read, of course, Children of Blood and Bone. It was a good four-star read. It was okay. And then I have all of these. Of course, my DC Icon books are life, life. Life. And then everyone's loving the Cruel Prince. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get the Wicked King because there's no space. And then Last Magician was also bomb and I need the second one. I just need more bookshelves eventually. It'll happen. And then she, the star, will go in the front because it's a very dark shelf so I need some need some color. So there's my color. She's beautiful. There's just that one white book. Ooh. And then sadly I couldn't fit the novella on the shelf. I normally have them like on top but it didn't fit. So, I have to find a new home for her. But yeah, it's coming together, coming together. Okay guys, so it's been about an hour or so and I finally put all the books back. So there are no more books just lying about. So I will show you the final look. It is probably gonna change a lot. But yeah, little shelf tour. <laughs> okay, so these two you already saw. And I really love them. I just, I'm like a little bummed because when I get more books like the DC Icon book and Wicked King and things like that, I don't know where I'm going to put them. But yeah, those look nice and I have added my snow globes and I added the palm tree, this snow globes. And then I have the next shelf. So I kind of have them organized by genre and height. So these are like my tall fantasy books. These are like my normal size fantasy books and I added some snow globes. And the strategy is the put some of the books in front where you like the cover in front of all the because like these don't match they don't look good together these don't match they don't look good together like the books behind like that's a little hmm. so i'm just gonna put nevermore in front because it's a very cute cover and bam pretty yeah so i love that shelf and they tend to be my favorite books too like red queen nevermore and now this one contemporary i might scoop this shelf a top one just because i feel like i've been loving contemporary a little bit more than fantasy mm, did i just say something forbidden oh no <laughs> but yeah so i have of course the poet x here but then i have a bunch of other random stuff some of them are fantasy but most of these are contemporary i love how fun colored contemporaries and then i have kind of my more diverse contemporary the ones i love yeah, yeah. And then I have my little fake plant. <laughs> but yeah, strategic placement of books really helps. Okay, next shelf is more fantasy. I have a lot of <laughs> uglier fantasy books here, but of course I still want to read them. So just pop this beautiful one in front and then you don't, you never know. 
yeah so then i have strange dreamer selection the infernal devices young elites all that jazz and then here more contemporary and some non-fiction so i have my own hopkin books and then i have if you see one's missing dun 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 and Hopkins, Snow Globes, Michelle, and then I have Lily Singh and my mom's books and some acting tip advice books. So yeah, those are my shelves. I think they look okay. They're gonna be fine. And then I have my TBR for January. Of course, I've read none of them, <laughs> but I am halfway through Scythe. I was supposed to read that months ago, but I didn't. Haha. <laughs> and then sneaky, sneaky under the desk. <laughs> I have all my comics and Throne of Glass. I know some of you guys might be like, how dare you put Throne of Glass under your table? But it was the only way they could stay together. And then moving on to under the bed. There is room here, a little bit, but yeah. This is more just miscellaneous paperbacks and covers and stuff. So I have some classics. I have the one that I want to give my mama. I have a textbook that I really didn't read last semester. <laughs> more kind of uh, classics um, and classics, I guess. I, I would call them classics. And then here I have mostly middle grade. And I was going to have Nevermore kind of on the corner here looking all cute. But then I was like, no, I need to see Nevermore more. So yes. But I have a bunch of middle grade, and I have my two poem collections that I just, you know, if you read my vlog, I, I like them, but I don't care for them. I probably won't reread them often, so they're just chilling here till I figure out what I want to do with my poetry collection, because I love poetry. It just, these guys just didn't fit the bill. <laughs> but yeah, then random books that I, some I've read, some I want to read. And then way down here, I have random books again big collector's ones, and then random ones that I will read eventually. This is like the uber backlist of my shelves. But yeah, those are all my books. And then I want you guys to comment down below, guess how many books I've read for my shelves. Oh, my hair is so cookie. But yeah, guess how many, because I'm gonna count them now. And I'm gonna, so I have 194 books. Let's see how many of them I've read. It's gonna be surprisingly low. I just know it. Be ready, guys. Be ready. Okay, guys. So I hope you put your guesses in. I've read 67 of them out of 194. Okay, this year I'm tackling the TBR. And that's why, if you've noticed, my TBR on my desk, let's, let's look at it again. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be trying to read more from my physical collection. I will. But yeah, so happy my room is finally organized. <laughs> yeah, so now I guess we can get to the reading portion of this vlog where I shall read Scythe. But I'm telling you, I'm feeling real sick. I'm drinking lots of tea, so I may not read now. I may nap. Don't hate me. <laughs> but yeah. <sighs> okay, bye. <laughs> yep, I still look like crap. Sorry. <laughs> Um, or not, sorry, I'm not gonna apologize for my everyday attire. <laughs> so, now I'm in bed. Because ever since I stopped cleaning around, was it 4? It's now 6.50. Oops. But, yeah, I'm not feeling good. I'm actually really, really cold. And I know that being cold and shivery and stuff are like signs of a fever. And then you start sweating. Like, all that confusion your body goes through going through that right now so i have a big thing of water that great thing is full of water I'm drinking lots of water so i think that's what's really been helping and something hot for my throat tea <laughs> yeah and then i'm gonna start a uh, new anime because i'm really in the anime mood so i'm starting violet evergarden which I, I have no idea what it's about going in blind no idea what's gonna happen but um Netflix has been really upping their game of like uploading different genres so I really like anime like if you want a good romantic anime you should watch uh, Snow White with red hair love that or like the classics like Oran Host Club or Maid Sama is really good there's a lot there's a lot of great great content out there if you want I can make a separate video about it because I don't think people realize how nerdy I am I love me some romantic romantic anime they just they do it like in such a cute and innocent kind of quirky way 
And I know some people hate that because it's not really realistic, but it's like, it's anime. It's not supposed to be realistic. It's supposed to be dramatic AF. So yeah, anime. My long spiel for me watching anime. And then I also brought uh, Scythe because I really want to finish it this weekend. I'm, I need to finish it this week. Hi guys, so a long time no talk, oopsie daisies, um, after like I filmed that like trying to get my crap together portion of this vlog, um, work, I ended up working like 18 hours over Saturday and Sunday because like there was something wrong in the office and we had to fix it. So I figured I would do a fun unboxing because I got some books and one is like real disappointing, like oh, real disappointing, but it's okay. Because I'm supporting my bae, Elizabeth Acevedo's first poet poetry book. Now, the cover is gorgeous, but, like, do you see this? Like, huh? But, yeah, that's okay. I'm supporting her, and I love her poetry. So, she's going to just, like, she's going to live right there. So cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on, because there are also way more exciting things. Got hair conditioner. I whacked myself in the face. Got conditioner, because... It's a necessity. I got some leave-in conditioner. Also a necessity. It's like a brown girl haul. <laughs> I got some, oh no. It was open, but hopefully it's okay. Face soap. I got my new bracelet. I have like a little diabetic bracelet guy. So my doctors can stop yelling at me about having like labeling myself like across my forehead in case I pass out or something. It's fun times, fun times. But and I also have a, a face exfoliator. <laughs> and a moisturizer I know I know those those were really fun but we're getting to the good stuff and I already see the covers I'm so excited so the first one is well read black girl I can't tell you how excited I am for this because I've heard nothing but great reviews and this book is so freaking cute look at the color oh, I just need more display space on my shelves Cause they're just so beautiful. Look at my babies. Look at my babies. But there's babies back there that I don't want to ignore. <laughs> the struggle is real. Okay, and this next one. Oh my god. The cover, not too in love with, but the back though. Oh. Okay, so it's a black enough edited by Ibiza Boy and a ton of authors that are in it, like Renee Watson's in it, um, Justina Ireland, um, Dan Danielle Clayton. Who else? Who else? Jason Reynolds, um, Nick Stone's in it, which I'm very excited. Lots of great, great people. So yeah, I'm very excited about this, but look, check this out. What is this beautiful thing? And then this. Ah! I'm so excited. So I needed to purchase these because next month, the Blackathon. Had to, had to, okay. Well, that was my quick little unboxing. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it wasn't boring. Hope this vlog, vlog, not vlog, not words. Hope this vlog's not too boring. Hopefully, maybe I'll add one more thing before I upload it. Or this might be it. Whoops. Trash vlog, my bee.